youtubers and welcome back to my channel subscribe to my channel click the subscribe button and turn on the ring bell thank you okay today video will be all about electronics in epoxy resin just like this example it's a solar three in one gadget solar gadget with super capacitors with OLED screen with Arduino and I put it into the epoxy resin and to pull out I need to broke the the case this kind of plastic it's great for mold here it is in my community feed I ask for will it have a bubbles does the OLED screen will crack and other stuff and you answer it that will have all things bubbles raising deformation will not work but I have a good news all three functions are working great and it's charging just I have here little deformation of epoxy resin I can fix that It's not super clean, but I figure out that electronics and epoxy resin don't work to together. Why? The first thing is that when you mix the, the two components of epoxy resin, the process will start and the temperature of the resin itself will reach above 150 degrees which is enough to de desolder some wires or overheat some electronic components that's why it's so difficult to place uh, electronics inside epoxy resin this is my probably sixth or seventh example of making epoxy resin creation with electronics and the first one is this one it's a small solar panel with self-blinking LED and super capacitor this one is 5.5 volts 1 farad you can see that have yellow at color transparent color this guy is my best resin creation it turned out almost without bubbles let's test this it's my digital LCD voltmeter ampere meter or USB tester this is great stuff I have a a video review for this you can check in my channel and now let's hook up the epoxy resin creation <laughs> great stuff okay it was a little tricky to to design the, the, the circuit and on top of the epoxy resin I have couple of pins for switching the low voltage LED blink to turn off the lights it blinking the solar panels are charging the super capacitors 5.5 volts 4 farads and the first function is low voltage LED blinker with maximum capacity of energy in the capacitors this LED will blink 
for around 12 hours. The second function, you just connect the white LED. There it is. This is the white LED. And you can see that because the the LED itself is transparent together with epoxy resin is almost like the light is coming out of the resin without the the diode case wow okay the, that was the second function and the third function it's Arduino OLED thermometer and it shows that it's 24 degrees but here is the deformation of the epoxy that I need to repair you can't see very well the, the OLED screen but it's working switch to LED blinking and this is an awesome gadget they that I made it and not to forget that I place a small piece of copper and I wrote solar number one by me solar supercapacitor skeleton sculpture beside the solar gadget you can check out my project with wireless energy receiver in epoxy resin I will put a link in description below for this video okay And now you're gonna see the resin creation gadget under the flashlight. Just look how amazing it looks. Whoa. Right here I have the most bubbles. The LED is flashing and it's self-charging little gadget. It takes energy from the sun through the solar panels, charging the capacitors and from here you can select three functions. The thermometer, the low voltage LED blinking 12 hours or The tiny flashlight with white LED. Here it is. Okay. That was all for today's video. Thank you for watching. Please share, subscribe and like my video little deformation but I, but I can fix that I don't give up I will make another one